be strong. Be strong. Hey guys, it's Hannah and I have got something I need to share with you. If you've been waiting on a miracle, if you've been holding out, if you've been believing for something, I need you to listen to this because I have a message from God through me to you. And this is going to be for someone, especially who has been waiting on a miracle. Okay. I just got in. You can probably look back at my last video. I just got in from playing in the rain and it was so funny. I need to tell you how this happened, but I also want to tell you that a very important message was given to me to give to you and you're going to receive it today. You're going to get blessed today. You're going to get a breakthrough today. You are going to reach your harvest today. I believe it. So I want to tell you, we were at a, we were at a restaurant and uh, me and some, me and some friends and uh, that I just made <laughs> and we were, we were at the restaurant and all of a sudden the sky just, y'all, the sky just turned black. Like it was, it turned so dark and it did, it wasn't just like pouring. It was like, like the windows of heaven opened and I mean, it was sheets of rain coming down. And so they were like, oh my gosh, like we have to walk back. You know, that it's like down the end of the block, we walked to the restaurant and I was like, guys, no, let's just, let's go out there and play in the rain. And they're like, you are crazy. You are, Hannah, you are crazy. Except this one guy, all right? This one guy said, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I said, I, all right, like I'm ready to go. You really want to do this? You really want to go out there and play in the rain? He's like, I will do it right now. And I was like, okay. And he looked at me and he said, um, he said, are you going back down? I said, oh, you do not know who you're talking to, baby. I never backed down. So we went out there and we we're like playing in the rain and dancing in the rain and screaming and jumping and, and just basically making a fool of ourselves. But there's three things I learned. I want to pass these on to you because I think it's going to have a really strong effect in what's going to happen in your future on whether you're going to usher in the miracle that God wants you or whether you're going to reject it. Cause we have a choice. Like God wants to bless you, but you get to determine whether you're going to receive that blessing. So I want to share this one thing with you. These are three things. Okay. That are going to bless you. And one story that is, is just going to blow your mind. So this first thing is as you go through life, always ask yourself, we have a tendency to always ask ourselves, why, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Or, or why, why this? And, but I want to encourage you instead of why ask yourself the question, why not? Right? Why not? You know, why would you go out there and play in the rain? That's stupid. It's crazy. But if you ask yourself, why not? Why not? Clothes can dry. Hair can dry, right? Makeup can be reapplied, whatever. But there's God will always give you an opportunity. And sometimes we spend so much of our life asking ourselves, asking God, why, why God, why that we forget to ask ourselves, why not? Why not? Why not have that conversation? Why not call that person that you are estranged from? Why not just reach over and give your spouse the warmest loving kiss in the world? Why not encourage another person? Why not write that letter? Why not pick up that thing that someone dropped? Why not leave an extra tip? like all the things. So start asking ourselves, why not? Why not go play in the rain? The rain's there. Do it. Like seize the opportunity. And here's the second thing. The second thing is never back down. Like when that guy, like he stood up and he, he looked at me and he said, I mean, y'all, it was pouring rain, pouring rain. And he looks at me, he's like, you going back down? I was like, dude, you don't know me. Like you do, you don't know me. You don't know my people, like we don't back down. And I wanna encourage you today that there is something in your life that's causing you to fear and doubt. And I wanna speak life to you today. Do not back down. Whatever that thing is that God planted in you, that vision, that vision to be out of debt, that vision to lose the weight, the vision to be married to that loving spouse, the vision to have a baby, the vision to grow that ministry, the vision to grow that business, the vision to travel the world, whatever that vision is that he has given you, the vision for healing. Someone has a, someone, God has given them a vision for their health to be totally restored, totally healed. Their eyesight, totally restored, right? Their, their bones. I'm sensing that someone is believing for healing in their bones, maybe arthritis. God has given you that vision. Don't back down from it because there will always be things in your circumstances, always be things in your life that say, 
ah, it's probably not gonna happen. I know you, you've been believing for too long now. Like all hope is gone. That's bull crap. That is a life in the pit of hell because when God authors something, he finishes it because Jesus is the author and the finisher. So do not back down. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what that, that balance is in your bank account. I don't know. I don't care what that doctor told you. I don't care what that situation that your child is in right now. I do care about that, but I don't want to give it any more attention than it deserves. We need to acknowledge it and then move into the truth of what God has declared for you. My child will, will honor God with his life. My health, my body will be restored. He gives me long life. My, my marriage is going to be saved. I am going to like, whatever it is, believe that don't back down from the vision that God originally gave you just because the circumstances are not lining up to support it. Do not back down from that dream, from that vision, from that future, from that promise. Do not back down from it. And here's the third thing. I'm speaking, I'm speaking to someone right now. Your blessing is coming and it's not just going to be a sprinkle. It is going to be a storm. Listen to me. Now, you know I'm talking to you, don't you? <laughs> Your blessing is coming, listen to me, and it's not going to be a sprinkle. It's going to be a storm. It's that harvest that, that God's word talks about when it says the sower will overtake the reaper. I mean, the reaper will overtake the sower. So much blessing that it's like you can hardly process it all. This is for someone. You've been believing for something, and I'm telling you, your blessing is coming and it is going to be a storm of blessing, not a sprinkle, not a shower, but a flood of blessing is on its way to you right now. I decree and declare it in the name of Jesus. I want to read to you about a story in the Bible when this happened and it shows us what to do as well. So this is from first Kings chapter 18, verse 41. I'm, no, I'm not going to start in verse 41. Well, I will. Okay. All right. So here, here, here's the deal. We, we're going to start in verse 41. Then Elijah said to Ahab, go get some to eat and drink. For I hear a mighty rainstorm coming. So Elijah was a prophet. And he was saying, you know what? Get ready. Like you may have shared this with someone that you, like a friend or family or something like that. And it's like, you know what? Let's just get ready because that, that blessing is coming. That miracle is coming. I believe it. And then you don't see anything, right? And then you feel like a fool, right? Because you're like, oh, my healing's coming. We're going to get out of debt. That child's going to turn his life around. I and then nothing happens. And you're like, God, did, did you like, did you hear me? Like, were you, uh, did you not give me that promise? Don't believe that. Okay. It says right here. So Elijah said, go get some to eat. Right? So Ahab went to eat and drink, but Elijah climbed to the top of Mount Carmel and bowed low to the ground and prayed with his face between his knees. Then he said to his servant, go and look out toward the sea. The servant went and looked, then returned to Elijah and said, I didn't see anything. So everyone around you is saying, I don't see nothing. I don't see anything changing with your health. I don't see anything happening with your son. I don't see anything happening with your marriage. I'm sorry. I'm not seeing it. And you feel stupid. I know how that feels. Don't you back down, baby. The, Elijah didn't back down. He just went, you know what he did? He went and prayed again. Prayed again. It says seven times. Seven times Elijah told him to go and look. Finally, the seventh time, his servant told him, I saw a little cloud about the size of a man's hand rising from the sea. That's all he needed. I'm telling you, all you need is just God give me just a tiny little sign to know that you're there, to know that you hear me, to know that you are faithful to your promises. Just give me a sign. Now lean in, come here, listen. Right here, this is that sign. That's why you're watching this video. God has given you a sign that I heard you, I acknowledge you, I, I am faithful to my promises, and I am not gonna let you down. That's why you're watching this video. Right now, right now, that is the sign. So it said, Elijah said, Hurry to Ahab, tell him, climb into your chariot, go back home. If you don't hurry, the rain's going to stop you. <laughs> he had so much faith in that rainstorm of blessing. He said, you better hurry or you better hurry or that rainstorm's going to make you look like Hannah, who's got a wet head 
and had to go change your clothes, you better hurry or that rain's going to stop you. That's how strong that rain is. It said, soon the sky was black with clouds. This is verse 45. A heavy wind brought a terrific rainstorm and Ahab left quickly for Jezreel. Then the Lord gave, listen, this is a verse for you right now. Receive this verse in Jesus name. Receive this. Then the Lord gave special strength to Elijah. He tucked his cloak into his belt and ran ahead of Ahab's chariot all the way to the entrance of Jezreel. So y'all, he was so excited about this miracle that he was able to plug into supernatural strength. He outran horses. He outran a chariot. It said he just, he just tucked in his cloak, rolled up his sleeves, it said, oh, here it is. Game on. We're doing this. I want you to get that attitude today, that same attitude <laughs> that Elijah had. <laughs> he said, it's on. It's on. Here we go. Your excitement and your anticipation about that miracle, about that breakthrough, about that, about that flood of blessing, your excitement is going to usher it in even more quickly. You're going to hasten it into your life by the level of anticipation that you put toward it. So don't you back down. Don't you believe the lies. Don't you get tricked into looking at your circumstances more than you look at your savior because he is the author and the finisher. He always finishes what he starts. You're the only one who can pull the plug on this dream. Don't you do it. God has something amazing for you. I know it. I believe it or else you wouldn't be watching this right now. God wants to build your hope up so you can get excited. So you can roll up your sleeves. So you can tuck in your shirt and you can say, it's on. Let's go. Today is the day that I receive that blessing. I know it's coming. If it's not here yet, I know that just means it's on its way. I decree it. I declare it. I believe it. And I usher it more quickly into my life with my excitement. That's what faith is, baby. Faith is believing it with such a certainty that you don't even have to experience it yet. That is how firm your belief is. It shows up in your joy. I love you so much. So remember, if you're looking out there, it looks like a rainstorm's coming. Praise God. Get out there and dance in it, and you are going to be blessed like crazy. I love you, my friend. Bye-bye. Be strong. Be strong. Oh, 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 oh,